meet the moment, whether it was the second half or the overtime or just when you've done so so consistently, you know, meeting that moment when it presents itself to you? I just, um, first off, a, a great team effort, a great team win. Um, you know, I kind of had a little reflection moment of what, what am I supposed to say? You know, what do you guys want me to say? You know, and we would just continue to find ways to win. We continue to find ways to win. We play together. We, uh, we've shown our resiliency uh, day in and day out, game in and game out. We've been challenged in a number of different ways. Um, but we, we always find a way, you know, and that's something you can't really take for granted. Um, and it's hard to quantify. Um, obviously, we have a ton to clean up. I have a ton to clean up. I, I have not um, executed to the level of, of my standard and, and what that is yet. And, you know, it seems to be enough. Um, but in terms of the standard that um, I like to play to uh, consistently and I like us to, to play to consistently as a team, enough is never enough. And so you just want to continue to strive uh, for more um, and play to that standard, you know. But I think in those moments, um, you just truly never want to get too high, never get too low. And, um, you know, we, we found a way to, in the end um, and we made it happen. The record with uh, Lane Johnson in the lineup versus when he's not in the lineup is a very great, great difference. How did you guys manage to pull it out? It was a, it was another gussy win for us. Another gussy win. Jack stepped in and and played a hell of a game. Um, played a hell of a game, being put on the spot. And this isn't the first time that this has happened. This happened um, in 2021 versus the Chiefs, and he came in and played a great game as well. And so, um, I mean, it's, it's it's being ready, being ready, having an opportunity. And I know um, as a competitor, Jack. Um, was ready for that opportunity after um, how the Jets game went, and he, and he played a hell of a game this this time around. Well, you when there's adversity or you're trailing, you said experience is the greatest teacher this week. Is it all the experiences you've had? Um, I say so. I say so. Um, it's definitely, you know, uh, it's definitely been a unique a unique journey for me. Um, a unique journey, a very unprecedented journey. And that is something that um, not many can relate nor compare to. And so okay, I guess it kind of shows itself sometimes that um, that um, it's kind of built me in, in different ways. Jalen, on the walk-off uh, touchdown, uh, looked like DeAndre went in motion. Was that sort of something that you have to be keen of to see the defense moving towards that before? Yeah, that reads on every play. Um, but I just think it was, um, it was a it was a great ball play. It was a great ball play, uh, well executed. Um, and for us, you know, I just, you know, I shake my head and kind of don't know. I shake my head and I don't really know how to feel sometimes because I just want to play to the standard at all times, you know, and I just want to, uh, you know, I just want to lead and, and play to the standard at all times. And, you know, that's why it's kind of like, um, it's weird for me, but, you know, as a team, we play together, we lean on one another um, and we have each other's backs. And I think um, you know, we just continue to find ways to win, you know, in the tough league versus really great teams Really great teams, really great quarterbacks, um, and really great defenses. Um, so we just we just need to continue to get better, continue to get better. Jalen, what, what do you mean weird? Are you balancing, you know, the good things you did in certain situations versus maybe mistakes earlier in the game? What do you mean it's kind of weird to be in the situation? Um, I think weird is it's, it's just a it's just a standard. You know, I talk about I talk about it all the time. You know, it's. It's the standard, um, and it's it's in a sense manipulative to myself um, because you know winning is the only thing that matters, but the standard is pretty darn important too, and so um, that's what it is. On that touchdown, how did you guys see the Z? And when you rolled left and kept the play alive, and it looked like there was a whole lot of room there. I, 
have to watch the film, um, but I saw what I saw, and we, we made it happen. He made a great catch. Schmitty made a great catch on his. Um, AJ made some big time plays there. I missed a couple of throws to him. Um, and, and Swift again kind of ignited us, um, ignited us, and in, in, again in another game, a consecutive week of igniting us and making a big run. And um, you know we found a way. We found a way when it mattered most. On that touchdown run, how did you know the safety was going to clear? Um, I didn't know. I didn't know. Uh, just reacting. Jalen, how much pride do you take in the clutch label? That's 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 not for me to you know to discern or um, roll with. I mean, I, I just truly go out there and try and play to the standard and and be the best that I can be for my team. And um, there are times today that I feel like I didn't do that, but um, when it mattered most, I feel like uh, we did a good job of, of doing what we need to do. We played team football, we communicated well, and um, that's all in, in, in the outcome of what happened. You know, we really, we really uh, were on the same page when it mattered the most, and that's all you can ask for. Um, anything else that I'm named or people on the road with, I guess that's for them to do so. So being, being steady-handed in late-game situations, Jalen, is that something that you innately have, or is that something that you kind of forge it over time? Just think experience is the biggest teacher. Um, you know, and, and I think that's for y'all to decide truly. So you have to say after the game. It seemed like it was a broken play. What, what is it that goes through your mind when you make that throw and when it came down with it? What, yeah, if you could take us through that moment. It's just making it happen. Um, I think it's... Um, I mean, it's just, I mean, I, I, I say the same things all the time, whether we lose or we win, um, however it comes out, whatever it is, um, I, I, I preach the same things and how there's just a true eagerness to just get better. And, you know, in that, in that moment, it's just in, in the mentality of trying to make it happen, not trying, making it happen. That's the mentality. Um, and he, he made a great catch. You know, I don't, can't tell you what I saw. Break the, break the play down or anything like that, but I have to watch the film. But, you know, we, we were in the mode of making it happen. And there are opportunities for us to do that all throughout the game, and we did not. Um, but we did it when it mattered the most. And so I take away from that just, just learning from it and, and growing from it. I mean, I mean there, there, there is nothing to be satisfied about. Um, we have to play cleaner. We have to be better. Um, obviously, a great win, a resilient win. Um, but we just we, we just continue to challenge ourselves to be better, and, and we're eager to eager to to do so. Um, and it takes everyone getting on the same page, um, what our plan of attack is, what that looks like, um, being efficient in whatever we call. Um, all of those things matter. Um, but we're we're finding ways to win, and I mean that's that's ten games won. And you know, we just want to kind of keep it rolling, but we want to we want to keep growing. You know, we, we got to continue to get better.